Well, hello again from Kingston. Behind me, you can see a tractor trailer and a forklift taking out the forms that are no longer required on site. It's been an interesting week. Follow along and don't miss the wildlife at the end. Thanks for watching. You may remember we ended last week with the east abutment forms in the process of removal and the first slabs going down on span 21. The crane from CA Peters was back on station as soon as the working week began. It wasn't very long before the massive concrete forms were being lifted away from the abutment with appropriate care and attention. Safety, of course, is always the highest priority. Never more so than when you're dealing with truly enormous sections in windy conditions. By Tuesday morning, only a few of the concrete forms remained in place. and attention turned to dismantling those already on the ground. The task can be more demanding than you might think, with some fasteners putting up stiff resistance. Eventually, you're left with a large number of concrete forms to organize and stack. There are enormous advantages in some mechanical assistance. On Friday afternoon, it was time to stack the whole lot on a trailer and return them to their rental home. With a variety of ancillary pieces. Spring cleaning wasn't restricted to Gore Road and the abutment. On the west side, work to clear the laydown there continued. During the week, a substantial quantity of material that had previously been on the west side was moved to the east laydown where it will be organised and prepared for removal from the site. Some items, such as these pile bonnets, have already been removed to a temporary off-site storage area. It's time now to look at the story of the final laying of the concrete deck slabs on span 21. Extraordinary efforts were made and at some points deck slabs were following one another at intervals of less than six minutes. With the final slabs in place by Wednesday afternoon, attention turned to caulking all joints and lifting in the brackets that will provide the safety walkways. Confirming cable runs and natures with one of the project engineers, Installing the brackets that will support pedestrian lights and running additional control cables were amongst the many tasks undertaken by Black and MacDonald this week. In future, cyclists will benefit from their own traffic lights and the control box that will support all the signals on the junction has been installed. Pedestrian crossing controls are in place too. 
Work continued early in the week to prepare the west abutment to receive the expansion joint which can be seen beside it. On Thursday, it was noted that the expansion joint had been installed and the presence of heaters and tarpaulins suggested that it might not be very long before concrete is poured. Overall, everything seems to be falling into place quite nicely. Back on the main steel span, where everything but the weather has been ready for some time to accept concrete, it's clear that preparations are taking place for some major activity. But of course, in this very changeable season, everything depends on achieving just the right conditions. A delivery of drain pipes this week was a reminder that much remains to be done and we haven't started the West Connector yet. As we run west from about span 15, the good news is that we don't face another winter. The extraordinary effort expended by an amazing team to lay reinforcing rod should continue largely uninterrupted. We'll head for wildlife with a look at the first six spans. Well, that's another week complete for the very hard-working team on this project. If you enjoy these updates, please consider subscribing. It really does help and encourage me. Bye for now. Well, that's another way. Thanks for following this series. If you enjoy the um, if you enjoy the programs, 